Good morning, grade twos and threes. Welcome. I hope you're doing well. It's Monday, April 6th, and um, I just want to check in and see how you're doing. How How is it going with this pandemic? Um, things have certainly changed, haven't they? And it's a little bit different, but I wanted to remind you of two things from the classroom. Do you remember those big black letters I had up on the wall um, by my desk? Do you remember what they spelled? Persevere. Just keep that in mind. Persevere. You can do hard things and we can do hard things together. So we've got this. Just take some time. Give yourself some grace. Learning takes patience and time. So keep that in mind as we go forward this week with our learning from home. Um, hopefully you are all able to get onto Lexi in fresh grade, no problem, so that you can watch this video and see what I have planned for you today. We're going to start slow. So just two things today that I wanted you to try and see if you could finish. One of them is with your spelling words. So you'll see you have a folder in fresh grade with your spelling words for the week. And I've put more spelling words in there than what you typically were working on at school because these words all follow a spelling pattern. So once you figure out really how to spell one word really well, then you can use that knowledge to help with the other words that belong in that same category. So there's some spelling words for you to practice throughout the whole week. So you can do some of the games that we did from the classroom, or if you're by yourself, you can do um, window writing, table writing. If your parents or families have dry erase markers, you can do um, write in sand outside with a stick if you wanted to, to practice your spelling words. You could right on the shower door if there's steam in there you could practice writing your spelling words there's so many different ways you can practice your spelling words so that's your job today to get started on those words and at some point this week i'd like you to take a picture or a video of you working on those words to send it back to me so it might just be a page a picture of the rainbow writing you did or something like that job number two i have another folder with a read aloud so the book today is um, how do dinosaurs learn to read and so I've read you the story and you can listen to the story and then your job after is to tell me the rhyming words that you found. So I'll give you a hint. There's nine different sets of rhyming words. So see if you can find them. If you want to extend that, the next step would be to use those words and write your own story or poem. They don't have to rhyme in your story or poem, but just using those words that you found in the story and creating them in your own. So that's it for today. If you wanted to do some math practice as well at home, um, I'll put a link on FreshGrade with some math site ideas so that you can, your parents can download those and you can work on those. Or if you don't have technology to use at home, you can always do some of the things that we did at school. So if you have dice or if you have cards, dominoes, um, make two or three digit numbers or four digit numbers and add them and subtract them. That would be great practice as well to do from home with your math. So please let me know how it goes today. Hopefully you can fit this in. Don't forget, you do have Lexia you can access from home too. So you could do a 15-minute session of Lexia today and then outside, go outside and do something fun. I am still going to do Thursday treks with you. So I'll take the iPad with me where I go on Thursday and post a video or a picture so you can see that I'm still taking some time for myself outside too. So outside goal today would just be to spend some time out in the fresh air. Hopefully you're doing that already. Okay, take care. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.